Hi, today I'm going to do a quick demo of a rotary encoder connected to a Raspberry Pi. So I was planning on using this in a, uh, in a, in a project. And a rotary encoder is kind of nice because you, can, you get continuous uh, rotation on it. Um, unlike a variable resistor that you know often stops on one side or the other. It's also digital. And this particular one um, has a built-in switch so you can kind of push on it and it'll switch and it has a built-in LED so it can light up. So what is a rotary encoder? Well, There's two parts to it. So first let's look at the encoder part of it. So typically they'll have these little marks on them. They'll be optical ones or mechanical ones. This is a, a mechanical one but these little marks, a contact will read these as you turn it and it produces an output stream on the two output pins. So these pins will be switched between ground. Now, if we look at this, we cannot tell an absolute position of this encoder since it's uh, just outputting this pulse stream, but we can tell direction. So as you turn it, um, the two signals A and B, they're offset slightly out of phase. So as it's turning, you know, you'll see A go up, then you'll see B go up, then you can see A go down, then B go down, then A goes up, B goes up, A goes down, B goes down, A goes up, B goes up, you know, etc. That tells you you're turning in one direction. If you're turning in the other direction, see right now we have both uh, A and B are up, but we'll come along, then B will go down, A will go down, B goes up, A goes up, B goes down, A goes down, uh, B goes up, and A goes up. So by monitoring these two lines, you can tell whether it's moving in this direction or whether it's moving in that direction based on the stream of pulses that you get. So this, uh, this encoder also has some LEDs built into it. There's three LEDs, um, or one LED of three parts, however you want to look at it. There's a red, a green, and a blue. Um, there's a positive common on them, so by switching the red, the green, or the blue to ground, you can make them light up. You can get different colors based on uh, you know which ones you turn on. So you know if you turn a red and blue, you'd get like purple, and you can vary the brightness by applying a uh, pulse width modulated signal to the LEDs, and that's what I'll do in my demo. So one thing that is important on these, so you don't burn them out, is you do want to put some resistors on them. And just in my demo, I ended up using, for the red, I put a 270, for the green, and the blue, I put 150s. Okay, so the other thing this thing has is it has a switch. So you probably can't tell, but as I push in on it, it makes a little, little kind of a clicky feel, and that's the switch operating. The switch is hooked up to the same row of pins as the LEDs, so it shares the common uh, positive. So by uh, by watching this pin, it will either become open or it will be uh, connected to this V plus. So just to be on the safe side, I also put some uh, resistors up here. And a resistor on the switch. Uh, strictly necessary, this, this, and this aren't, uh, aren't required, but I like to put uh, protection resistors on my switches just in case I accidentally configure a, uh, an input as an output that I don't end up shorting out one of the Pi's uh, GPIOs. So I connected these to GPIO on the Pi of 17, 27, 22, and then 14, 15, 18. So I ended up using a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. So if you're shorter on pins, 
Um, you know, maybe you can come up with something more clever with the LEDs. You know, maybe you don't really need an RGB output. You could just use one of them and, you know, have a, a red encoder. Maybe you don't need an LED or, at all. But, you know, for the basics, you're going to need at least the two pins and the encoder. And if you want the switch, you're going to need the, uh, the pin on the switch. For V+, we use the 3.3 volts on the Pi. Here's a close-up of the uh, the little prototype that I made. So here's the uh, SparkFun um, rotary encoder. You can see it's got a total of eight pins. Um, so I assembled it on this proto board until I get some, uh, some real um, breakout boards made up. Um, there's three lines here that go off to do the encoder. There's a ground and the A and the B. Over here, there's a uh, five volt plus uh, three lines for the uh, LEDs, so a red, a green, and a blue, plus five volt, and a line out for the switch. Now, I put a bunch of uh, resistors on. Some of these aren't necessary, uh, strictly. So I put 10K resistors on the two encoder output lines and on the switch line, and that was just, uh... okay, so those 10K resistors, that was just a protective measure. I like to do that on, uh, on switches and things, just in case I accidentally configure an input pin as an output, you know, that way I won't actually create a short circuit and damage the Pi or the device under test. Uh, but there are three resistors that are necessary, and those three are attached to the LED, so... So they specified a higher uh, forward voltage for the blue and the green LED, so I think I put 150 ohm resistors on those, and... Uh, for the red one, the, the forward voltage was lower, so I put a bigger resistor, like a 270. I can see that I don't, I don't have it quite, quite right, because it doesn't actually light up white when you go 100% on all three colors, so, you know, some tweaking of resistors is probably necessary. Hi, I'm going to do a quick demo on this rotary encoder hooked up to a Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look. Now you can see back here is the Raspberry Pi. Some wires going to the encoder and a vacuum fluorescent display. Now let's uh, fire it up and take a look. The demo is running. So the rotary encoder, I have it hooked up so you can turn it and it will change the color of the encoder. So you should be able to see it got, uh, got reddish. Turn out some light. Hopefully we can see that. So as I'm turning it up, the red value to 100%. Turn the red value back down to zero. Then I made it so the uh, pushing on it will change uh, the cursor on there. So I can go to red, green, blue, red, and we're on green so we can dial up the green level. And then we can go over to blue. bluish then if we dial in some more red and we've got something that's kind of kind of a pinkish whitish color so that is the little demo I put together Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.